So, I am back from Aconcagua. Uh, Al and I summited uh, this 6,962 mountain on the 28th of January. Uh, blissful conditions, uh, everything went exactly according to plan. Um, absolutely, just to be able to say I have now climbed the highest mountain in the western and southern hemisphere is pretty amazing. Um, Obviously, to do that, I needed to take a whole bunch of kit, and I was going to do a kit review before I left, but then I realised that I hadn't used any of the kit, so why would I be able to tell you anything about it? So these are the two bags I took with me. I took a Osprey 33 litre Talon. This was my kind of hand luggage bag, a bag I left in the hostel, and this kind of a day bag. And then I had this big 85 litre pack um, from Osprey as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it all open, go through it as quickly as possible, and then kind of quickly touch on what I used and what I didn't use, uh, and uh, give a little maybe some tips and stuff. So without further ado, the knife from Mongolia. And cut all this. Wrapping the bag makes life so much easier, um, and also you can sneak in so much more stuff. Um, so. And carefully not kill anything. So this is that. First up, we have the Van Gogh Force 10 Series Mountain 2 10, 2 Man 10. Absolutely fantastic, easy to put up, and in the wind was amazing. Only thing I would probably say on this is having a three man tent for two people might be a better idea, especially when it's cold, snowy, windy outside. So, great tent, uh, definitely, definitely recommend. Then I had a black diamond um, ice axe. Voila. Did not use once. However, if there had been a bit more snow, this would have been an absolutely essential piece of equipment. So absolutely, definitely would recommend it. Uh, it's nice and light, uh, and I'm sure it does the job absolutely perfectly if it was given the job. Uh, then we had a Slightly crushed uh, Thermarest Z light mat. Um, this is again another thing that I would just 100% suggest taking or something similar. Um, I did also have another Thermarest Neo Air mat, uh, which was uh, which was great, but um, this just allows you to have a little bit of extra protection uh, from the cold and from the rocks on the ground. So absolutely worth every second hanging up. Then I had um, Lecky Pauls. Uh, these are these are micro vario carbon, and uh, these are not my favourite of the Lecky Pauls, but um, for trekking, these ones are actually a lot better. I like the fact that they've got a long foam handle, so when you're going up uh, slightly tricky bits, you can drop your hand further down the pole like that. Uh, the fact that they fold up and they're incredibly lightweight, again, probably wouldn't take any other ones, but these definitely recommend. Uh, this was the backpack I used, which uh, is the Aether 85, uh, and absolutely 100% the best backpack I could have chosen for this for me. Um, I absolutely loved it. It's got two bottle places on the back, it's got the axe straps, it's got uh, a lovely bag here, uh, pull out bits so you can stuff stuff in there, access from the bottom, access from the side. It has this top uh, bit which actually I used as my food storage which allowed me to actually take it off and have a separate bag which was just my food. 
Uh, Al used his as a uh, tent bag, which was a great idea. So everything he needed from the tent was just in this bit, which he unclipped and brought into the tent with him. Um, but the backpack absolutely served purpose, uh, purpose perfectly. Um, and we're uh, really looking forward to taking on more adventures. Uh, you absolutely need to take a flask with you because once you get above about 4,500 meters, water freezes if you leave it in anything else. So this was a life adventure, 1,000. One liter is probably enough. Um, but if you have the space to take two, then that's great. But this was a very slick, nice flask. Um, now, delving into the backpack. I took too many pairs of gloves. Um, I've got expedition mitts and I had these North Face Montana GTX gloves. The expedition mitts, I'm sure it would have got cold enough to use them. Once they're on, I couldn't use my holes properly and you know that you probably do need to have them but uh, I, I, I didn't really use them. Uh, these gloves I didn't use at all but actually on summit day I wish I'd probably taken these ones instead because uh, I could have used my poles they've been a lot more useful. Um, so yeah you probably need both because you never know what the weather's going to do but that's uh, things. I had these insulated gaiters that were made for me from Mongolia. Uh, I really wanted to use them on the mountain but Actually, uh, I had double boots, so these didn't really serve a purpose on this expedition. So that's a bit of weight I could have, could have saved. Um, in terms of clothes, I'll probably do something separate on clothes, but these are hybrid um, gore hiking trousers in the new fast hiking range. Absolutely brilliant. They have a waterproof bit on the front, they're windproof. Um, I use these pretty much every day. Uh, this is a gore running vest, uh, absolutely love. Um, this is the hood I wear, it was given to me when I was in Mongolia by one of my teammates, thank you Angela, um, and absolutely priceless on the mountain because it covers you from the side of the face, from the wind and everything, so you know that goes with me on every expedition I do. Um, this is a marmot base layer, I didn't use that. Um, this is a pair of, I used Gore cycling thermals. These were absolutely perfect. I kept them underneath my hiking trousers when it got cold and then slept in them at night. Um, this, these are Bridgedale uh, endurance socks. Uh, Summit, they are absolutely perfect. I used these in Mongolia and I used them again in there. Two pairs of their, them and you're pretty much sorted. Um, I didn't use that. Uh, these are just Gore Thermal Windstopper gloves. Great for just every day. Like I use these basically as my work gloves. So these are like putting up tents and that kind of stuff. Uh, and they were great. Skull cap, didn't use. Um, I love my hiking boots. These are Scarpa uh, Evo GTX uh, boots. I use these for Mongolia. I use them all the way up the mountain apart from summit day. And I think due to how lucky we were with weather, then these would have been great. And then I have lots of rope, string, nylon stuff um, to help out. But absolutely, those are the best hiking boots. Um, Merino 200 uh, top, absolutely perfect. Windstopper hat, I use that on summit day, a bit warmer. Um, but you know, I got away with just wearing a cap most of the time, but you need that. Uh, another pair of socks, balaclava, didn't need, but absolutely had to have just in case the weather changes. A couple of buffs, always a good idea. These are my favourite, these are Arc'teryx insulated windstopper uh, trousers. Uh, absolutely amazing, this is what I wore on summit day. Um, for cooking, this is my MSR wind burner stove, one, uh, I think it's about, it's a one litre one. Uh, even though it says one litre, it does actually say inside that the max. Come on. The max liquid you should put in is about 600. So, anyway, uh, this was good. The only thing I would say that's annoying about this is this plastic cup thing doesn't really fit very well, and this top doesn't really fit very well. 
The good thing about this though is that you can fit a instant noodles perfectly in it, um, uh, which was good for eating and for porridge and stuff. Also the construction of this, it's called a wind burner and that does help in the wind. You know, I used this outside and in the tent. I know you're not meant to, but uh, it was absolutely fantastic and would highly recommend this. Um, you know, these little things actually, now that we're down in lower temperature, do seem to work a little bit better. Um, tent socks I didn't use. I just had a thin pair of liner gloves, essential. Um, I took along one of these water things, but I didn't, I didn't use it. I just relied on using bottles. Uh, I didn't want anything breaking. Um, so I could have saved the stuff on that. Did use that. Liner socks for summit day. These are clothes from before. I took tracksuit bottoms. I didn't need that. I took another base layer. I didn't need that. Um, I used the Windstopper hiking jacket. Um, this is the new hiking range. Uh, this jacket is like someone giving you a big hug. This is what I would use when I was hiking uh, at lower altitudes. Uh, thoroughly recommend. I then had um, another pair of trousers I didn't use. This another pair of thermals I didn't use. Um, pair of shorts didn't use. I used these base layer gore pants. Perfect. Black, best colour. Don't take white pants. Uh, don't take cotton pants as well. The reason you want to take stuff like this is because it dries quickly. You take cotton stuff, it doesn't dry quickly. Uh, this was an 89 litre Orton, um sack. This was used for transporting stuff up on the camel. Um, and if you didn't have, well, we used a different bag, but would have been used for caching stuff at the higher camps. Absolutely essential, I would say, to take. Um, then I just have more socks, socks, socks. A mid layer, this is just a mid layer, wind layer I love uh, just because it's very warm uh, and it's done a lot with me. It's kind of a sentimental value. Top, um, I took uh, this gore fast hiking uh, kind of Mac jacket, waterproof, windproof. Um, I didn't need it, but that's uh, something you absolutely need to take with you. Uh, anything that's gonna keep you waterproof, uh, I was just very lucky with weather. Then I had just millions of bags. Um, this is the most comfortable sleeping bag I have ever slept in. And I've slept in some really good sleeping bags. Um, but this, um, is the Ram Ascent 900, um, which was absolutely amazing and kept me warm every night. I did use a Blue Mountain uh, Mummy poly cotton liner, which adds a couple of degrees when you use that inside. But this was um, an amazing, amazing sleeping bag. I also used a Sea to Summit compression sack. The, the, the sleeping bag comes with a great compression sack, but Having the ability just to draw a bit, bit smaller just gives you a little bit more space in the bag. I then had a thermo rest um, which went on the bottom. Um, when I was up on the mountain, when I wasn't using my gore jacket, like in camp, I would wear this jacket, which I absolutely love. This is a RAB uh, micro light thing. And then when I was on summit day, I had this mountain equipment skyline jacket. Um, I decided not to take a massive expedition jacket. I decided to take lots of layers, lots of windproofing, um, and then this was gonna be the one I used on the outside. It was such perfect weather. I used this for like two hours, but it's a great jacket you need to take. Um, didn't take that. Uh, had a little, uh, little first aid kit, um, Nalgene bottle which is, I love Maldines. I wish I had two of these, I only took one. Um, and I took one of these um, insulated cases. I'm not entirely sure how well the insulated case worked, but it makes it easy to hang it onto your backpack. 
which is useful. Uh, I had my Land Rover Explore, uh, which is always right with me. Um, fantastic uh, up on the wind, it's out on the mountain. It's amazing how many times you drop phones. Uh, also, the inside of the tent freezes. This phone goes down to minus 60. Uh, it just is easy to have um, a phone that you don't have to care about. Um, obviously, I love it and I do care about it, but you don't have to fuss over it. Um, it comes with a case. I actually didn't use the case on this, this one because I'm using my phone so much. Um, but it, came, it comes with an adventure pack, which is in here, uh, which adds an extra battery life to it, which uh, and enhances the GPS. Uh, I would say if you can take two of them, that is absolutely priceless. Um, I took a notebook, I never used it. I took these Petzl um, crampons. I think these, these are basically designed to use with hiking boots and I tried to use them with double plastic boots. They, they, didn't, they, they didn't work. Um, crampons, double boots, probably easier just to rent when you get to Aconcagua. In, in Mendoza they have shops where you can rent them. Uh, it means you don't have the space in your bag when you're coming over and it just means you're getting ones that fit the boots you're using. Um, hand warmers, I bought millions, never used. Uh, I used a spot tracker uh, every single day uh, to, to, to record where I was going and share that with my mum and dad and anyone who cared, which I don't think is very many people, but always a great, great thing to take. Uh, these are my little luxuries. You get these from Starbucks, they're Italian roast, uh, individually wrapped packets of coffee. They make breakfast just so much easier, so highly recommend that. Um, I took a towel, never used it. 13 days without a shower. Um, black diamond head torch, absolutely brilliant. It's got a tap side thing so you can make it uh, dark and light. Uh, I used this like my fire titanium spork and it is a great spork. However, we were using fire pot foods which are about that big uh, and you can buy longer kind of sporks which go in and uh, a little bit easier but i'm talking about like tiny little alterations there this spork was great another towel didn't use didn't use any of that um this is closed from back at the thing um so power traveler are who i turn to for power um i took two uh, solar panels. Uh, for an expedition of this size, when you're wanting to charge things all day, every day, I would personally go for the Falcon 21, which is this one, which has got three panels. Uh, it puts out two, two amps, so it's going to charge your, your Land Rover Explorer and keep your GoPro and all that kind of stuff. Thing. Uh, this is the slightly smaller one, which is the Falcon 7. Uh, a great piece of kit, but on this particular expedition, I would go, go for this one. Um, I took the Surface with me, Microsoft Surface, too big to take onto the mountain. If I had a Surface Go, I probably would have taken that because it's a bit smaller and it allowed me to do some editing and stuff while I was up on the mountain. More clothes, clothes. Um, up on the mountain, obviously, the higher you go up, the UV gets a lot, a lot stronger, so you have to really protect your eyes. I use these uh, Renegades. Uh, on the walk up and then when I was up on summit day I used uh, these revolts which are from Sun God. Sun God, great company, uh, great products and what I love about the Renegades uh, especially is that I go through lenses like nothing on earth um, but you don't have to buy new glasses every time the lenses just pop out you go online you buy another set they're not too expensive so you're not breaking the bank every time so uh, great stuff there from Sun God. Um, these are the spare batteries I took for my Land Rover Explore. Great just to know you have power. Um, again, I used uh, this is a Power Gorilla. Uh, I took it up to give myself some extra uh, extra power. But what I found, and to save a bit of uh, weight and space, is I used the 
Sport, which is this small uh, battery pack here, which punches about uh, 6,700 milliamps. That basically would charge this every day, which would charge everything at night. Uh, that's all I really needed. Um, then this is great. Um, if you've got sunlight, that actually is going to do everything you need. Uh, so, Kindle, essential. I took two of these, I one for my teammate. Um, Fitbit, I loved it, I really wanted to take it up the hill, but um, unfortunately it just wouldn't sink anywhere, so I, I left it behind. Uh, titanium batteries, lip salve, um, and then uh, I took a GoPro 4, that was the GoPro of choice for me. Um, it worked great. Uh, I like being able to see the screen, like obviously the new GoPro uh, is the one that you really want. Uh, I used this, uh, this is a Sunto Ambit 3 for like navigation and stuff on the mountain. Uh, it's side by side with my Land Rover Explorer. Uh, I charged this before I climbed the mountain, so over two weeks ago I still got 4% battery uh, and used it every single day. Um, that is my kit. Uh, all laid out and I'm not gonna lie there is a smell radiating from this stuff but this is what I used uh, I'll go into more detail on kind of specifics on my website you'll be able to see what I used for sleeping what I used for power um, kind of suggestions of different kit which I would have liked to have used um, but that is basically Aconcagua kit unpacked back at my house and uh, I look forward to bringing you more videos of more stuff later on.